Courtesy of DJ Giaska. Thank you for staying tuned. As well, make sure you continue with us. Don't be mentioning who are the winners to uh resort panari resort where you get to have a sit down of good pizza with a lovely one so you have to stay locked to find out who the winner is you can follow us on our social media platform that is at y254 channel you can reach out to me at michelle ashira so uh, my next guest uh, he can freestyle and he can move from just anything and he can mention anything in the musical format of furious and he's just starting off in the music game uh, as a young soul and yet he's a uh, force to reckon with and jay remy is finally home hey what's up <laughs> you're good yeah i'm good thank you for coming through thanks so you can use camera for young soul and introduce yourself and put justice on that name eh? <laughs> Hey, what's up, party people? It's your boy, Jay Remy, to the world, straight from Dagoretti. Yeah, that's your boy. What's oh. up? Okay, I love the fact that you, there's a lot of what's up, you know? Hello. Tim Milano is on the <laughs> way. So, thank you for coming through again. We Welcome. are honored to have you. And uh, probably, I don't, don't feel like starting off as you telling us where you come from and everything else. But tell me where your love for rap started. My love for rap started all the way back when I was in primary. I used to listen to guys like Kendrick Lamar. Those were the guys that... So they were the influences. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when I started... I started to rap. So I started to Kendrick Lamar back then. Then in high school, it continued growing. Then when I was somewhere in Form 1, Form 2, I started to write my song. So that's when I realized, like, me and uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's true, like his his music is awesome. Like he has a couple of songs. And another part that Umekoki released music back to back, the audio aspect of it. And uh, so far Ume Fanya like how many songs? Mm, solo tracks. Something like eight of them. The rest are collabs. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So tell me, do you First of all, you're very young. Let's just start there. And the emphasis that you are actually doing good in the music scene. And uh, let's go back to, are you still in school or are you just taking music as a profession? Mm. Right now? I was fourth last year. So I'm into music. I'm into music. I'm into music. I'm into music. Okay. Yeah. Did you just ask after high school? <laughs> I remember probably I did something. You know these packages, computer mm -hmm. packages afterwards? I was our clerk by then. Oh, you're a clerk. <laughs> I don't even know. You see, even about, like, that's how you get information, just like that. Right here, hashtag hip hop Thursday, that's where you can get us. Okay, so after high school mm -hmm. last year, and then you got you got into music. Yeah. So parents were like, like uh, you taking the music as people? Oh, were they supportive? Were they looking forward uh, mm. for you to continue the education? Probably I mean, take for a my career. mom, my mom was supportive, but not the two Mabuda. Mabuda last month twenty sixteen, so so it's life. Mm -hmm. So like, as much as you're grinding, you're showing your your parents that kuna kitu na fanya. That's when at least anona kuna kitu mtoto wako na So that's how even the video li come through. Mm -hmm. Like the song itself, nearly I really I nearly I did the song at time like now last year. Mm -hmm. So the video shot it immediately after form four. So before we speak about uh, uh, straight out of Dago, mm -hmm. let's go back to Hinya Wale. Hinyawale. So when did you release Hinya Wale? I released it actually this year, back in Feb. So all of the songs you've in the time frame of this year. Yeah. Okay, that is uh, that is consistency. Mm -hmm. That is a very <laughs> Consistency. So tell me, uh, are you signed under any label? Mm, Studio 7 on the map. Studio 7. Studio 7, yeah. So what kind of supportive system do they give you and uh, yeah, on the, on the other side of them, like in terms of your music? Yeah, they support me. Actually, recording Zotes, like everything that, that I do in the studio, it's under them actually. Actually, I give, first of all, you shout out to Moza Mazi. School of the Kid on the map, Maze is the okay. one behind all that sound. Innocent people are saying, I'm not going to be a kid on the map. 
Alafu another shout out to T King and the family. Yeah, Studio okay. Seven on the map. Okay, so the the guys behind uh, the production and what you come you came out with because yeah. Skuro the Kid was here a time while time back and uh, he's also an artist. So let's go back to uh, straight out of Dago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a jam that it's a very hype jam, like it's a it's a bang, and young millennials we all jam into it. So tell me, what was the inspiration behind this song? Hmm, the inspiration behind Street Out of Um, you see, there are rappers from Kayole, from Kibera, from Umo, from where, but um, you see Dagoreti. I thought, why don't I step up? They represent where I'm from, because most rappers from Dagoreti like. As a particular platform, like Kubo, like Kile Konekana. So, like, I thought, what if I did something to represent my, my hood, Penyan Metoka? So, I came with Street Dago. Yeah. What was the writing process of it? Writing process? Yeah. I mean, I'm the now, did you know that it will be like uh, something that would be well acknowledged now? Like, the, the level of just uh, people are actually accepting the song. People are like, they love the song, they love the job. So, mm -hmm. did you know that like, it will be that overhead, that people, the reception will be the way it is? I mean, everything I do is a hit, you know. I'm Jay Revy, it's the Jerome to the world, you know. Sawa <laughs> Jay, <laughs> Sawa Jay Revy, to be Kubali. So, what was the feeling or the vibe in studio? It's just, it was nice. It was just hype. You know, I'm the type of, I'm the type of person, like, when I play a beat, mm -hmm. when it catches my attention, that's when I, I, I know I can do something with this beat. So, like, so I got the beat, then I knew, as I'm finding something with that beat, Igakua. And that, that was just it? Yes? Yeah. All right. So you can use Camera 4, give all your social media handle as we do this, because we are coming with a freestyle. I want to hear straight out of Dago from J. Remy. Uh, I'm it's uh, J. Remy to the world, so we are looking forward to hear the freestyle. So social media handles, and then we just get to the freestyle, because <coughs> people back at home are waiting for it. Um, hmm. J. Remy to the world. On F Facebook, you'll see me. Uh, you'll find me J. Remy. IG, Jeremy KE, Twitter, Jeremy KE, what's up? Just like the two to I'm Jeremy to the world. Okay, so do you have any projects coming up before we get into the freestyle? Do you have any other projects coming yeah. up? Yeah. Because in this time of, uh, time frame of this year, we've, we've already released two songs and uh, a couple of other singles. Form, I want to sample them here before we get to the freestyle. We have, um, yes. Ride along, and then we have embassy, and then they're just like a lined up, lined up of audios. Mm -hmm. So, do you look? Are you looking forward to release these uh, videos, or is it just? Mm -hmm. Just tell us what's coming up. On June, you can be expecting something from me. Okay. Ride along, little video. Mm -hmm. mm, on August, I'm doing something. He near a video. Yeah, these are my biggest projects. Okay, so with no further ado, I represent Jeremy, as he says, to the wall. I hope all the hands are wide open because we cannot wait to hear this straight out of Dago freestyle from none other than Jeremy. Yes, you're waiting for this. Yeah. DJ Chieska. Freestyle. Freestyle. Let's do freestyle. Hey. Freestyle. Something like that. J, 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 Remy to the world. So, guys, thank you for watching this interview. Make sure you do not stay tuned. Yes, I have no much to say because uh, at the end of the last interview, we had the, the last interview, we'll be announcing the winner of uh, a sit down pizza at Panari Resort. So, you want to find out if you actually ended up to be a winner if you texted. Yes, Digitesca, what do you have for us? I uh, got post Malone, so I did mm -hmm. Sunflower coming up. Okay, so but right about now, DJ Tiesco will be taking us to good music at Michelle Shira, that's how you get me. So let's just vibe to good music. Yeah.